This is Greg Troutwein with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here today with Cash Mahmood, American Bureau of Shipping Senior Vice President for Digital Solutions to discuss with us ABS's launch of My Digital Fleet. Cash, first and foremost, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Greg. Happy to be here. Okay. So Cash, just to start us off, My Digital Fleet, can you give us a concise description? Absolutely, Greg. Uh, My Digital Fleet is an endeavor we started a couple of years ago, and we looked at the industry problems and what was required really to move the industry forward with specific areas of focus. And what we realized was that the industry needed a, a platform which was a combination of, of the most cutting edge technologies to solve specific problems related to managing risk better, managing compliance better, uh, managing the asset performance to really lead to maximize return on assets. And we set out to, to build a platform that really addressed that gap and get that need in the industry. Hence, my digital fleet was born. So Cash, I, I know that you have a global launch plan for October 6th. Um, but is my digital fleet available today or will it be available immediately on October 6th? Yes, Greg, uh, we are doing a global launch of my digital fleet October 6th. Um, my digital fleet is available today. We've actually been doing a couple of alpha and beta tests with several of our customers and we've seen great successes. I think you know far better than I that the maritime industry today is awash in quote unquote digital solutions. How specifically will my digital fleet differentiate itself? That's a great question, Greg. So digital solutions by itself has become a misnomer and there is a lot of confusion about what digital really is. At the end of the day, the way we look at digital is digital are, is a means to solve practical business problems. The business problems are still the same. They don't change. It's using really a combination of the most effective technological suite to move the needle on specific business drivers. That's exactly what my digital fleet does. We looked at the gap in disparity of data systems, lack of standardization and protocols, really being able to leverage the existing investments in the most practical and the most efficient way to get time to value. That was the key driver for my digital fleet. And that's really what separates my digital fleet from everything else that's out there. But with that as a backdrop, can you give us an overview of the development of the system? Absolutely, Greg. Uh, whenever we develop a suite of tools within ABS, it's always the customer first. Uh, we, we tend to walk backwards when we're looking to solve a problem. It's, it's really going and sitting and engaging with the customers to understand the problem, getting in their shoes, walking through their day, and then coming back and figuring out how do I remove the friction from the process. And we did that with a few of our customers to really understand their business drivers, really understand what is it that they were really looking for and how they define success when, when it came to implementing digital solutions. When we walked backwards from that scenario, then we internally looked at what are the key technologies and really the, the key combination of technologies that would allow us to bring something together, enabling a best of breed platform solution. And that's the key differentiator the best of breed and a component based design with my digital fleet platform allows us to plug and play technologies as they evolve. When you look at the, the process to bring my digital fleet to market, can you identify what you consider to be the biggest hurdles or the biggest challenges? We looked at all the different technologies that were available. In fact, we went through that exercise for more than six months and we Inside our labs, we tested different things to see what came together and what worked together. Performance was an important critical aspect for us. Security was another critical aspect for us. And really for plug and play, it's the data fusion element, which was extremely important for us. As we went through the exercises of looking at tools, what we realized was in order to do data fusion against disparate systems without standard protocols, the most effective way to make that work was to really use artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques. And that's when we started the exercise of how do I create intelligent components which begin to recognize data down to a user sentiment level. That is what allows us to bring everything together, standardize it, and then really start to move the needle where you start to find these hidden gems of problems that lead to specific solutions that you can now propagate as best practices across your fleet. Okay, I don't wanna put words in your mouth, but would you consider this artificial or this AI component to be the technological differentiator in my digital fleet? 
One of them, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the way we are doing security protocols, the way we're doing data compression, the way we're looking at um, analytics itself, and, and the way we are bringing in the standard digital asset frameworks, if you may, so that we can rapidly standardize the fleet and run analytics on it. There are several different components, but I would say that the AI component is really the one that that brings it all together. As I think you may attest, uh, the maritime industry tends to be conservative, particularly in the uh, protection of its data. Um, when you look at my digital fleet, what do you see as the key drivers to make this a go? The key, and, and a lot of the times the questions that get asked from, uh, from some, some customers is, do I have to go back and retrofit my vessels with, with new sensors? Um, on some of the equipments that we have when they're spread across different vessels, they all tend to have different sensors, different configurations. So what is it that we really need to do to start to see value in my digital fleet? What we have actually done is we have built our AI components in such a way that they are completely oblivious to the data feeds that are coming in. And what they do is they automatically mold and adjust to either a limited set of data that they have or a broad set of uh, spectrum of sensor values that come in. And depending on what the level of instrumentation is on the asset, that really triggers to run the right AI algorithm. So we're not really trying to retrofit a, in, in a piece of equipment to an algorithm. We are really adjusting the algorithm itself to the different variations of the equipment. That was a, a very, challenging task for us because we had to really go back to the drawing board and re-architect our approach to neural networks. Now, along with that, the other thing that happens is ABS has a tremendous amount of data because we're a class society. So we have actually leveraged our own data sources internally to train and improve these algorithms. And what we are, the stage that we're at now is we are not just running one or two algorithms, we're running clusters of algorithms together. So think of it as a collected brain power, which is now looking at data sources from all different elements and really giving you, in a very simplified way, risk scores that can be digested and can trigger actions. Can you tell me how my digital fleet will impact or affect uh, the trends in autonomous ships and decarbonization? As far as decarbonization is concerned, there are really two critical elements in our journey towards decarb. Um, it's my digital fleet can assist the ship owners and ship managers, the ability to monitor and benchmark GHG emissions and fuel consumptions, both from a vessel and from a fleet perspective to really understand where the efficiencies can be gained and where the right measures are determined and implemented for their operations to optimize vessel usage, emissions, and evaluating its effectiveness. This is something that they can begin to do today. And then we overlay that with how does a risk index impact those particular usage elements so you can begin to see how do I tweak my operations and how do I do things differently. W with respect to the march towards autonomy, it is imperative that your fleet get digitalized. Being autonomous, while not necessarily imply being unmanned, it does involve a leaner crew on board. And that leaner crew on board now should be able to get enhanced guidance, enhanced support from remote operating centers. These vessel operations can be managed and really complemented through these remote operating centers using capabilities like My Digital Fleet. My Digital Fleet is developed with this vision in mind. It actually runs in our own decision support center where we look at it and make decisions and really provide recommendations to our customers. Depending on who you're talking to on what day, COVID-19 uh, will have an impact on fast tracking the digitalization trend in and around maritime. First and foremost, how do you see it? And big, bigger picture, how do you see my digital fleet playing into that fast track? We actually see COVID-19 has already fast tracked a lot of things. Uh, I mean, even in ABS, we believe that we have gone through um, a faster evolution internally using digital tools um, in six, seven months that what would have taken us about two, three years. Uh, so the, we've already seen that pace accelerate. And, and we're hearing the same thing and seeing the same thing with our customers. Uh, having global virtual meetings using Teams and Zoom is now just becoming a ubiquitous day-to-day -day thing. 
what I see with my digital fleet um, during COVID and past COVID is I actually see having information available to you at your fingertips from all over the world and being able to broadcast the critical information back out so the right people can take the right action, becoming just the new norm. And, and that, that element of decision-making in a shorter time frame, leading to an action which is extremely critical in a timely fashion, just becoming the, new, becoming the new norm in our industry. And I actually see tools or platforms like My Digital Fleet enabling that and really continuing to have that rapid pace that COVID-19 started. That may be the silver lining.